Hi guys, Zdenek here. How are you doing? I hope you're great. Today I'd like to talk about pronunciation, which is, as you know, one of my favorite things to teach. Specifically, I'd like to talk about intonation. It's whether you go up or down in your pitch. So this is extremely important because which sort of or what sort of intonation pattern you use may actually help others find out what sort of thing you are trying to communicate. It can help you get the message across. Yes, so it's really necessary to master this because if you do, then you may sound more persuasive. You may be able to convince others more. There are a lot of games that need you to convince someone and I think the best ones to give as an example are social deduction games. Now, social deduction games are one of my favorite games to play. These games involve deceit, lying, and having to convince someone, okay? So, you have got a secret card, which you get at the start of the game, and you will either end up on the team of the good guys, they are the majority, or on the team of the bad guys. Now, if you are the bad guy, you have to blend in, you have to lie, you have to deceive others and pretend that you're one of the good guys. If you are a good guy, it's your mission to convince others that you are on the team of the good guys. Uh, it's your mission not to be uh, suspected of any mischief and it's your mission to uh, reveal the bad guys. Okay, so let me give you some examples of what you could say in a game like, for example, Avalon, which is one of the social deduction games. There are other games like uh, The Resistance, or Mafia, or Werewolf, or even Secret Hitler. Okay, so these are all social deduction games, and I would like to give you examples of these different intonation patterns that we have in English. So, the most useless one i'd say is the level intonation now the level intonation this is how nobody really speaks this is how robots speak so if you are a robot this intonation pattern might be very useful to you nobody really says he is lying don't trust her she is definitely a bad person mm. This is not very useful, so level intonation, nobody speaks like that. However, falling intonation is much more important. Falling intonation is something you would use to state uh, a fact, to make a statement. For example, you could say, he's definitely lying. No, he's not on our team. So the intonation is, hmm, hmm, it's going down, okay? So falling intonation. Now, rising intonation is something you would use in yes-no questions in order to inquire information. For example, is he lying? Do you think he is on our team? Do you actually trust him? Okay, so... Mm, 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 it's, go it's going up. If you think I'm insane, well, wait for the more complex intonation patterns. They are even crazier. So this one is fall rise, and this is something you would use um, if you are surprised. For example, you could say, he's lying? I can't believe he's lying. Is he not on our team? Okay, so, mm, mm. so this is fall rise. And the last one is rise fall. So this is something you would use to express anger or frustration. For example, he's lying. Don't trust him. Don't vote for him. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's really important what sort of intonation uh, you go for because it may change the meaning entirely. And because in games like this, uh, it's really about being able to express yourself and to um, convey your emotions uh, this is pretty useful stuff I'd say okay well if you like this video give me a thumbs up or leave a comment 
And uh, next week we are actually starting two new English through board games groups. So if you're interested, you might still be able to join. Please send me a message. I've got B1, B2 and C1 groups. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye.